How many people are waiting? 1,312. Mamma mia, that is nuts. Whoa, mama. That is backing up something atrocious. Hello everybody, my name is Biffa and today we're using roundabouts, time traffic lights and metro to finally rid Teville of the traffic in the new area. Let's get stuck in. And also of course we do have this train line down here that we could perhaps hook into at some point. It goes, yeah look it goes all the way down here. Oh man, yeah, so we could easily have a train connection. But anyway, we'll worry about that in a moment. Let's go with some metro. I am thinking that we definitely need a nice big metro loop. We could just do a loop around the whole thing that then branches off and connects over here as well. I think that could be quite good. What's this one we've got here? 12 track metro hub oh my giddy aunt look at that i don't think we'll be needing that two platform parallel station perfect but look at that 72,000, nearly 73,000 population this is nuts okay we've got four up there and four down here i'm not quite sure i'm gonna get this all to hook up and then i'm gonna put this two platform parallel station in um over here somewhere so i want this to be where these will come to and then another one that goes off over here hopefully not getting in the way of anybody else and then as we expand this area over here this will be this will be part of the built-up area so if we just grab for now this road here and we're just going to add that on there and then that is that's it i want it to go that way excellent so let me just get all of these hooked up So I don't want to interfere with these other lines we've got, but I would like to hook up to this main train station over here. So I'm thinking we could just branch off of here like that and just connect that up and we'll just see how that goes. Can you get yourself up here? I'm sure you could if you really tried. Yeah, it's all underground. So then we've got that loop there and then we've got this connection down to there. So then what we're going to do like I normally do is we're going to have... I know there's a station there somewhere. Uh, there we go. We're going to have a clockwise and an anti-clockwise connection that goes around this area here. There we go, like that. And then we're going to have a connection from here coming through to this train station and going back again. There we go. I mean, I know I could just connect that line to there, but I want another station in there that we can use in a future build. There we go. Oh, I thought it was a nice looking building. Maybe not. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that'll do for now. So that is definitely going to help people get around. We need to get this thing working. Although... Ah, water pipes. There we go. Ah, water pipes. I've got the water pipes to take electricity around the city mod, and for some reason, this guy is not getting electricity. Does he need like a water pipe right over the top of him? Any, ah, there we go. Okay, excellent. Good, good, good. So, hopefully what we're going to see now is, if we have a look over at our metro. Hmm, where are those two lines? So that's going to be metro line 10 is going to be the connection one. Let's just hover over that. Yes, it is. And down the other end here, have we got a nine somewhere? Nine. Hamilton District and eight Hamilton District. So, 9 is the one going counterclockwise. So, I'm going to put CCW. And this one is going clockwise. I have to press enter, otherwise it doesn't remember. And this is metro line number 10. That's what I'm going to leave it. So, we want to see those name, uh, those numbers going up. This is 0 here. And I've lost it now. These two here, 3 and 8. And hopefully, that is going to stop this huge amount of traffic that's coming in and making our place get all clogged up. Mm. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do is have a quick sip of tea and then I'm going to add a train station in. Mm. I want to add a train station down here because it's not so busy down here, but I want it set back from the road. So let's just pause a minute. Let's just delete all of this. Oh, look at that. You just about managed to survive the great deletion of 16th of 19th of March 2020. Something that looks a bit different. 
Well, that looks quite nice. I like that one. I don't want it bang smack by that there. What would that look like? Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. That looks really nice, especially with the tree going through the canopy. Let's just move that tree. There we go. And then what we can do is try and get... A, we want a bypass line. So we're going to have this one come down, just sort of follow. There we go. That's better. And then we can just connect up to there. And then we can do the same over here. And that can just connect up to there as well. And hopefully that won't get so busy that we're wishing we've added... Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> that is not where I wanted you to go. In here. Stop jumping around. There we go. Like that. Yeah, and hopefully that won't get too busy that we wish we added a... What is this guy doing? Oh, he's disappeared. I think that'll be fine. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but anyway, we'll go with that. And then I'm going to add in a line from there to up here. So which one of these? This one isn't even used. Look at that. Let's add that in from there and back again. There we go. That'll be a good one for all the hobbits. And then... Just wonder whether we can have another little line coming from up here. I have to buy another square. Let's leave it at that for now. So that's gone blue. Which one's that one? This one here. So that's going to be Hamilton District Direct. Yep, that's fine. And then we've got this uh, metro station right here. And they can walk out. We've got a little path. And they can cross over. So that can definitely be put in use as well. So, look at this. It's backing up. Whoa, mama. That is backing up something atrocious. I don't think we ever did the lane maths on this one here. We could just help these guys out. Still 72%. So, you know, overall... So we're going 3 minus 1 down to 2. Really need to get some lane mathematics into my kids' school education now that we're homeschooling them. That could be a good idea. I have been sort of... Every time I come up with an idea of something interesting we can do... It's like we write it in a book so we don't forget. Okay, you're going to do that. And then you're not going to lane switch there. So you can just go through and then spread out and get stuck somewhere else. And then we need to do the same going the other way. There we go. There we go. There we go. Already got some ideas for using Minecraft in maths. Because one of my sons is working on area and things like that. So we were like, oh yeah, I can do some... Is that going to... Go away, that glitchy thing. <laughs> that guy was like, whoa, I'm going to take a detour. Yeah, that'll do. And then we'll just connect these up. Yeah, working out areas in, in Minecraft, I think that'll be good fun. And then, yeah, we don't need to say no lane switch in there. So hopefully once these guys get going down here, it won't be so much of a chocolate block. I tell you what, I'm going to say no lane switch in there. No lane switch in there. No lane switch in there. I just want to get these moving and stop slowing down. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'm probably going to let this run. Oh, you already, already see this moving much better. I'm going to let this run for a bit. And then we're going to keep a line on Metro 10, which was our connection from our double-lined hub thing here across. And then 8 and 9. Look at that already. 205, 240. That is nice. And then if you look at this one, I bet there's loads of people waiting. Look, to go from there to over here. And is there only one? Hmm. Metro Line 10. Only two vehicles. And we've got 230 people. Okay, look. We're going to double that to four. Biffa the Mayor has said we're going to double it to four. And look at that. They can walk from one side to the other. They sort of do it underground. Are they doing it underground? Yeah, they are. That's good. Nice. And actually, let's just... Oh, here the house is upgrading as well. Let's just check the other two lines. Uh, number eight. How many people are waiting? 1,312. Mamma mia, that is nuts. What, what have we got in this area? That they're, Oh, it's the hospital. Ah, okay. So, yeah. We definitely need to up this line. Uh, let's just do it this way. Mm -hmm. yeah, this one here. This one here. Number eight. Was that the one? 1,400. I mean, they will wait there for a long time, but I'm going to double that to six and see how that goes. I still don't think that's going to be enough. And then back to the lines. Let's look at nine. So 400 and odd up on this one. Where's that? Oh, okay, it's already moved us there. So where are we now? 
this top one up here. Okay. Well, let's increase that one as well. Number nine. Got three. I'm just looking at that number. It's going up, going down. This one's about to get to the end. Drop them all off and loop round again. I reckon another two on there. We'll up that to five. I mean, we've got the money. We could just add loads. Of wow, we're going to be up to 80,000 soon. It's like there's no demand and people are still moving in. Which is just fantastic. Let's look at eight again. 1,000. Look at all these trains. They're like full up before they even got there. Okay, seven, eight. We're going to have eight trains going in the loop. Wow, that is nice. Let's have a look down here. Ah, oh, look. This is all cleared up already. Brilliant. So it's just this little bit going over the top. I'm sure they had giveaway signs on there. They do not look like they're doing giveaway signs. They are. Okay. Um, hmm. I'll tell you what it is. Okay, let's just do a bit of this. You can go there. You can go there, you can go there, and you can go there, and you can go... Ooh. <laughs> uh, we've got this one the wrong way round, haven't we? That's what it is. Let's change this one. 74% going up. Let's pop that one the other way round. But then we've still got straight on here. So this actually needs to be... Yeah, it does. I don't know why I changed that one. So then you can have this going straight on and this one. So this needs to be four as well. Why is this not four? Mm. Biffa from the past. What were you playing at? That one spreads out into two. Those two go into two. Yeah, that's fine. That should, that should solve it then. So this one goes up there. That one goes straight on. This one goes... Look at that. There we go. And as soon as you put enough lanes in, look, it's all cleared up. And this is probably a similar thing going on here, although it seems to be going okay. Yeah, we, it needs to be a double one there as well. I don't know why, what I was thinking when I did that, but... You know, sometimes that's just life. And this needs to be a double one down here as well. Because why the floppity heck not? And then we'll have that one go there. This one go there. We'll do it to the nearest one. Because uh, that one's going to go straight over to there. This one's going to turn to here. That one's going to go over there. And this one's going to go over here. There we go. There we go. This coming up here should be okay if we just do the lane thing. There we go. Dedicated turning lanes. Not too busy. And then the next thing is this section here. Look. There is quite a few cars coming up here and getting a bit stuck. But now there's not so much coming along here. I'm just wondering whether we could just take off the giveaway. Oh, another auto save. Quick sip of tea. Ah, lovely. No, I actually know. That's a bad idea. I'll tell you what we're going to put in here then is some time traffic lights. Ooh, let's just have a quick look at this. I haven't done this for a while. Two academic works, hat of many feathers, and anti gravity drones. Two toga parties going on. This year's toga party almost broke the world record of the largest toga party with the highest number of participants in the history of the campus. Nice. Students, loads. We're going to have a look at that in a second. Yeah, control click. I'm going to put time traffic lights in here. Oh, look, I don't need to. Look, they've all gone already. We've like already solved the traffic before the time traffic lights have gone in. I just think we've actually jumped the gun there a bit. Time traffic lights, stop. We don't need you. Uh, I can't read it. It's so small. <laughs> Where's the remove thing? Rotate, let, remove right at the bottom where it would be obvious to be. Yes. So we put that back in again. I think we're fine there now. Uh, this, these guys are like stopping coming into that bit there. You don't need to stop there. Yeah, you're okay. This coming up is a bit busy. Do you know what we're going to do here? Pause. This is backing up a bit down here. Look. And we've got some space. So I'm going to delete. Oh, that's deleting a lot of road, isn't it? I'm going to delete that. Biffa, don't forget. Check out the university in a minute. Don't forget. That comes up there like that. We brace ye olde roundabout like a so. And then we've got two lanes going up and two lanes coming down. Symbols. So we grab that and we go like that. Come on now. Please play the game. And then you're going out. You're going in. 
And then we do the thing with the stuff and the lanes and the Hugo there. Hugo there. Hugo there and Hugo there. And then we want the Hugo through. And that. Oh, yeah. I've got to delete this in the middle. Always forget. Hey, look. Try and take a shortcut. Called him in the act. And then we've still got giveaway there. And then we're going to say no parking. I don't want parking on these. There we go. So now, what you'll find is these guys will get out quicker, so this will go down. This isn't too bad, actually. It's not backing up. This is backing up, so we need to just do the same here. Here's getting a bit close with that connection there, but I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. I actually want it in between, so I'm going to use this here to not connect to the node and see how it goes. That should be okay, and just far enough away there for it not to be a problem. Okay, we'll just wait for that for a sec. And then along here, I'm going to say no lane switching in the middle. I want you to pick your lane down there when you come through. So when you come through, pick your lane. And then it should go straight all the way up. And then you've got getting out at the top there, which is getting quite busy. What I imagine is happening is these guys are all coming over. They're all trying to come out of that road. Mm, and that comes all the way down here. Oh, have I done a giveaway sign there? Yes, we have. Oh, hiccups. So let's just see what happens when we just leave this running for a second or two. Okay, I'm just going to use the in-game tool again to look at the traffic routes. As you can see, this one up here is pretty clear now. This is getting super busy because most of these cars, if you have a look, are coming up and going into the left-hand lane. They want to turn left, which means I bet they're going up and over that road and going somewhere else. So let's just work some stuff out. We'll pick this road. Uh, yeah, there we go. So most of them are private vehicles. Most are coming up there. And either going up over the top or going up down this road here. So I was just wondering whether if we had another connection here between this road and this road, it mean they wouldn't all be using that junction. So we could just have... Let's have a little look. Hmm. Maybe a little road. Just to give them an extra option coming off of here. So if we go... And I want to make this... Oh, let's turn on node whatever I want it to go like that so they can get away quickly you know the angle they can shoot off quickly we're going to go like that and i'm going to connect it up here so if we go like that and then go like do you know what i could just do i just had a thought we're going to go up and over the top like this and we're going to curve it round and we're going to do this properly and have it join like there and then when they come down here they're only going to go right and now they're on the correct side of the road so do we need two lanes here it would be an idea to that hopefully well that police car what i might just do this isn't really the way to do it we should have two and three lanes here for the merging yeah so what i'm going to do is upgrade that so we've got three lanes the two lanes and then they might just have to make do when they come along here yeah, so we're going to say no lane switching there. And then when these come out here, you go there, you go there, and... What the heck? That was some super flipping overtaking there, wasn't it? Good gravy. Man alive. And then you can go through, you can go through, and you can go through, and nobody should be giving way or stopping. There's traffic lights. No traffic lights. There we go. And then they're going to merge there, but I don't think there's that much traffic coming down. <laughs> Thanks for that jumpy game. <laughs> Where was I looking? Over here. And then this one here, we're going to just do a dedicated lane for turning, and we're going to turn off parking there and there. So now we've got a lane for going off, a lane for going on. So that's clear. This is clear. It's all moving. This is moving. And now this is moving as well nice now it's just the people coming in but that will actually clear up because there's less cars overall what are we at 73 percent. so i think it's just time to let things run a bit see how it goes these guys here are having a hard day aren't they trying to get in here i do think i'm going to put in a time traffic light there we go i'm just going to stick it in i'm going to watch this for a few minutes and see whether these guys are getting long enough to go and i might just also give these a little little lanes like this
you know what? I think we've solved it. We really don't. I'm so desperate to put a time traffic light in, aren't I? We just don't need it. Look, there we go. So now this is cleared up because they can get on there quicker. They can get on and go quicker. So that's clear. That's okay. It's not bad. That's clear. This is still pretty busy, but I've just sort of moved those roads a bit to give them more of an option for getting on. And I think we're going to be okay. Let's just check the speed of this. So this is 60. These are 40. I'm just wondering whether if we up these to 60 as well as everything else, then if they're coming up there, they don't need to slow down. They can just whiz along and get going. We've got the U go through. Also needed to make sure that these roads are coming on. We didn't have that one on the end of the block junction because I did have and it caused a problem. Look, that's gone down now. And I reckon this will start going down. I want to just use the in-game tool again to see where these are all going. Okay, so those are mostly going round over here by the look of it. It's this direction. Some are going up there. Some are going off here. But most are going along here and up there. So now we've got that little slip road. I think that's really going to help. This is looking okay. This is looking super busy. What the heck's going on here? You're coming down there. You're turning into that. Are you cutting through from there to over here? Why would you even be doing that? Let's just check the... <laughs> what the heck? This is why, generally speaking, these sort of little areas, you only have one way in and out to stop people cutting through, but they shouldn't be doing that anyway. Let's just take that road and see where they're coming from. Up there. So down... Yeah, they're not coming up there and going through and out. No, okay. Okay, so I've gone around a lot of the little road intersections, and like we've had here, I've put in the asymmetrical road, so we've got two lanes coming out. I've done that in all sorts of different spots, and I'll be honest, solving this little issue here, which is was a big problem, I've literally put this time traffic light in, and two seconds later, it is all sorted. Look at that. It's not backing up down here at all. This has all just gone through. So just that time traffic light there has just made all the difference. And I reckon another one here. So control click. Quick setup not supported. Yes, it is because you've done it. And I'm looking at these cars up here. So I haven't done my asymmetrical roads here. But they're all basically just trying to get out. And let's just keep an eye on this and see whether they get enough time for these guys to get out. I reckon we could just make this one a little bit longer. So this is why you need two lanes, because look, these guys are going while these are stopping. These are going to go... Actually, look, I reckon that'll be it. Look, we get most of these through. And this main road going through isn't so busy that it's causing problems either. I think we've solved that one. You can't see. I've sort of got my hands in the air. Yeah, I've solved that one. Done. What are we at? 78%. Nice. And let's just have a look around this. Okay, let's do it in this view. This is easier. So this down here... Getting busy trying to come out. I think this is on give way. So you're not going to do it. I'm going to do a time traffic light. Let's just watch it. Let's move that out of the way. There we go. Not too much traffic here and here. Then that breaks. So that's stopping there. I'll just put my mouse there. And then it's going to change again. And some of those are going to go. Oh, that's just fantastic, isn't it? That is fantastic. Let's put this on to have a look around. So that's not too bad. That's just loads of parked cars. See, this here, a little bit busy. So let's put, I think that's on just give way, isn't it? Let's put a time traffic light on there. And this one doesn't need one. That's not too bad. So let's just keep an eye on this. Look, all these red cars. Let's, oh, it's on top speed. Let's just let that run a couple of iterations and all this will go down. By the way, you've just seen the brand new trailer for Sunset Harbour, the new DLC that's coming out. So I think you're seeing this video at the weekend. I can't remember when this one's coming out. I think so. So it'll be interesting to see all your thoughts on the new Sunset Harbour stuff. Let me know. Now, this road's a bit busier. I mean, it's, again, it's hard to see because we've got loads of parked cars here. But these moving ones, what we don't want is this to back up down to here. Now, the way these work, if I remember... If we just pause a second to stop, uh, when you edit these, you've got an option in here to change the flow sensitivity. So it does see how many cars are going through and will sort of adjust itself as it goes. So let's just start that again. So after a while, once, look, this, this one was busy, it's gone down. This one's going down. Soon that will go down. And then it means that these will be able to get through quicker. 
Let's just give it a sec. Yeah, let me know in the comments if there's anything particular you like the look of in the Sunset DLC. Um, I may also have done a little video on it. I don't know what I'm doing, what my plans are. Just a, like, a little reaction to the trailer. We shall see, we shall see. But anyway, let's just watch this for a sec. There we go, look at that. Sorted itself out. This is not backed up anymore, so this road won't be red in, in a minute. And these guys are all going through. It's literally backed up to there, like four cars. And then in a second, it's going to change. First, six vehicles, seven vehicles sorted. So this is all okay. Down here, this is still a bit hawky balky here. So let's add in, is this giveaway? Yeah, so let's add one in there to help these guys and whoo got a bit of a jump on the game and then one on the other side there where it hits the main road this a lot of people just seem to want to use it so it just gets busy but it's not that bad look the cars are only up to here this is all parked cars down the side and this sort of backs up up to there i think they find it hard to get in and out i may need to just increase that roundabout or just switch it for a better junction just because this is such a busy area because it's hooked up to this road and that's the only way in and out of this whole area isn't it because we don't we've got this road hooked up here what we need is a road up here hooked up to something over here like this one do you know what while i'm while i'm talking about it uh let's do it it's a six lane road we don't need it to be that so let's grab what shall we do what shall we do let's go for that one and we're going to go across here there we go we're going to connect that like that uh we are going to get our dedicated turning lanes from both of these roads so this one here probably needs to just be yeah two lanes either way let's just change that bish bash and of course bosh let's just do that there Let's just take out the traffic lights and we're going to say you give way. And then up here, just want to make sure that this is still set up. It isn't, but we'll do it anyway. We'll do that. We'll do that. And this may end up being quite a lot more traffic, but yeah, we'll leave that like it is. That's fine. That's good. And then that connects down here across the bridge. And then we just need to do something here. What we could do with doing is just upgrading the ends of these roads here. I want a three, four and a two, three and a two. That's this one. So we've got three lanes going in and then two lanes coming out. This one's got three lanes already. We'll do the control click dedicated turning lanes. And then I am going to put uh, time traffic lights in there because this is going to get used a lot. I want to make sure people can get through. I may have put a roundabout in there, but we've got one right up here. So now what we'll find is people from this area have got the choice of coming along here and up that road. This this little hook here, I was, I'm going to change at some point. Never got around to it. And that should lessen everybody coming through here so much and trying to get through to the main city there. 85,000 people. Wow, this thing's going nuts. 84% traffic. Let's have a look down here. This is fine. This is fine. It's just well used. This is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. I've just as well been looking at the comments on the last video talking about frontage roads. And I did look up on the wiki and on the Google how to do these. And people seem to do them differently in different countries. And I, I've got them set up like this. And I think this is working well. You've got the main highway that carries on through. And you've got the frontage roads down here. Some people said that they what they would have is the frontage road. Then it sort of skips up and adds an extra lane. Like reverse lane mathematics. But I've got it this way and it's working well. We've got this main road they can take here. And then if they need the highway, they've got the highway access as well. And uh, yeah, what have we got? 83%. That is pretty good. Heading up to 86,000 population. Flipping heck. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments below. Let's do one final look. Oh, the academic year report. That's that weird noise. We never looked, did we? Oh, let's go and have a look at what's going on. Uh, Woodland State College. Still three stars. We need to up the attractiveness. We can do that. We've got all the students we need, all the academic works we need. That'll be a future episode getting that sorted. Let's take one final look at our uh, trains and trains. That's what I want. Hamilton, Hamilton, Hamilton District. 
That's our train line. So not many people using that, but our metro line 10. That's the connection between our old area and our new area. Doing really well. And then the clockwise and counterclockwise ones, 1,350, 600. That is absolutely brilliant. So there we go. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. Don't forget, hit subscribe as well. And I will see you all very soon for the next video. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Bye-bye.